Hey guys, hello and welcome to Andy's Little Sci-Fi Horror Show. My name is Andy. And I'm Baker Man. It is Wednesday night, August something. I'm not quite sure. August 10th. The reason I don't really know what it is is because I'm on vacation right now. And I've had many other projects distracting me. I've had my movie going. And I've had, I entered, well, I collectively entered 30 films in the film festivals. One one recently. Go outside and play. <laughs> this is the emergency broadcast system. High levels of radiation have been reported in your district. Local authorities advise remaining in shelter until further assessment can be made by FEMA. Got into another one. Uh, which is kind of embarrassing because I, when my brother and I were entering it, you know, we made a list of like, this is pretty, this is potential, this is a long shot. Um, we entered a long shot one and we got one of our movies into it, which was kind of funny. But as I posted on Facebook, I actually forgot I entered that one. So, you know, sometimes you just lose track of stuff. I do. I, I made a list of the film festivals I did enter, and that one didn't even get on the list. On my calendar of upcoming look forward to events. But um, as I said before, things right now are in motion. With the movie going on, I have not really even mentally approached Halloween. So, yep. I think now, being August what? 10th. 10th. We should do that. Oh, look! The leaves are changing. He's mocking me, but that's fine. <laughs> they are kind of changing. Yeah. Well, I think we gotta get something to eat because I'm gonna become hangry and cranky and my stomach is growling, you can hear it. And then- Your uh, stomach doesn't growl. It screams like a demon wanting to, 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 to basically rip somebody's face off. That's true, it comes out kind of evil. It, it's no, it's done. Hold on, it's hold not, second, one second, we're gonna, we have to decide whether we're gonna turn left or right because that determines our whole night. This directs local food and eating in potentially a couple of stores that might have Halloween stuff in them. Or this way, we take us to a mall in disappointment and Drew talking about how malls have been the end and it's all of this and that. I think left here. Left? Let's hang out locally. Now that we're heading this way, we have to decide what we're gonna eat. Hello and welcome to the Andyland TV science fiction tour. My name's Andrew, I'll be your tour guide. Just to let you guys know about a little bit about Andy Land, he's been doing all kinds of crazy movies for all these years. Absolutely. Up on the left, you will see 
That is the back lot location for many an Andy Sawyer film. He's right, I'm not gonna lie. It goes back many, many, many years. It was a cliff and all that. As soon as you mentioned that, my mind went way, way back to like 19... 96 when um this is a funny story i don't think i've ever even mentioned it on uh, the sci-fi horror show but we were filming a movie called a williams lake or the toxic alien eyeballs or some crap like this and anyway my brother-in-law steve and i were at the dance park it was about 9 30 at night and we get this creature on a floaty device with a stick and a long spindly neck and an eyeball and it's like giant eyeball it was like a mini beach ball kind of eyeball and i think it was ridiculous like it was yeah I always said it looked better on the camera than it did in person, which is true. We were at the edge of the water. I got this the VHS camera, not the 95 pound one, but like the sleeker one that we dropped about 400 times. And I don't understand how that thing could still work, but it did. It made him good back then. It sure did. I always had that one shoulder, I had the stick in it, I'm controlling the eyeball. You see he's leaning over, he's holding on to the camera. He had like a stick or, or a tape or something. It was rid absolutely ridiculous. We were all trying to choke the water, and suddenly we see headlights pull into the parking lot. So we're stuck there, because usually people turn around, it's no big deal. Well, these headlights didn't turn around. These headlights came over and parked. Sure enough, an officer of the law, we had pulled over and looked over at us, and all we can do is we just both turn simultaneously with the eyeball creature, and the cop, and the cop's like, and then he drove off. <laughs> One of the funniest stories I've ever had about that movie. I guess maybe he didn't want to deal with it. He realized we weren't really doing anything wrong. Yeah, or maybe he didn't want to report, you know, two guys with a giant alien eyeball. So, he, yeah. So Bunch I mean, of weird freaks. Another time, we were filming in the snow. This kind of ethereal kind of fantasy film. I, I don't even know if we made it. No, we didn't end up making it. It was like a fairy tale that didn't end up making it. Um, but we put a... One of the things about the movie was, um, like the Edgar Allan Poe films they did, every section had a, there was a skull hidden somewhere in the scene. So we brought a skull and we placed it there and put it in the snow. Sure enough, we drove off. And then it wasn't until we were back at the house and looking around and realizing that we didn't have the skull. So we had to go back oh. and find the, the skull in the snow. Fortunately, I had an idea where it was and it wasn't that hard to find. And the sad thing is, like, I don't know if you would have even noticed it walking by because it was so well hidden. It was, like, it was kind of like a, a, a slight mound of snow with a skull face. And it was really kind of cool and kind of creepy. And uh, we got a picture of it somewhere. You know, who the hell knows it? But. You know, somebody actually said that a cool idea for the winter is to make a snowman, but in the snowman, put like a skeleton. So as it melted, like when when it got when it got warmer out. You like, know what? That could be a fun thing to do. We'll see. Yeah, you just make a nice jolly snowman, like Frosty. I think it would be funnier to actually make like what would be an anatomically correct snowman skeleton. Yep. Where, where are we going exactly? Uh, are we going to 99 or? Yeah, I guess we'll go to the 99. Alright, we're going to the 99. 99! I got 99 restaurants at a McDonald's ain't one. Hell no, they're not a restaurant anymore. <laughs> McDonald's is a gray box of pain. If you got greeted by a human being, it would be something. You know, greeted by his digital wall. Watch out, boy. I remember when McDonald's had like. Big Mac, McDLT, a quarter pounder with some fish filet, a fish, a hamburger, a cheeseburger, a happy meal, nuggets, tasty golden fries, regular or larger size, a salad, shepherd, garden, or a chicken salad, oriental, liquid breakfast, steak, muffin, pot, kitchen, sauce, and biscuits, bacon, egg, and cheese, sauce, and cheese, 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 Go to the Adams Pass. family house. No, no, don't disrespect his house. Dude, this is such a the, beautiful home. This is beautiful. This is an actual real life famous haunted house. They really clean this place up. Where are you where are you going, dude? I'm going this way. Why? Because we're getting a nice shot of the house. Okay, well the 99 went down that way, but again. We can just go the other way. Oh, we're gonna have to because otherwise we're going to Hubbardston, which is another place we filmed a lot of movies. <laughs> And genuine action. I'm only telling these long stories because we've been taking the long about way to get to where we're going to go eat, which is up ahead, 99. So, to be new.